What's going on? It's Julian on the radio, live at uh, Phoenix Fashion Week. Actually, my very first one. And uh, here with the guys of Loin Clothing. What up, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Okay, well, I'm Clary Jeffrey. And I'm Sam Mascaro, and we're Loin Cloth Los Angeles. All right, so you guys from L.A. I'm a Chicago guy. Now I live here in Arizona. And, um, I mean, you know, to be honest with you, I'm a, I'm a streetwear guy. And, I like, number one, how would you categorize your clothing? Yeah, we've kind of moved more over to the menswear. I used to describe it as a streetwear and menswear hybrid because we now we make a lot of Oxford shirts and like clean things with subtle contrast so it's not too street but it definitely fits in that market and menswear as well. What do you think like when someone says streetwear what does that mean to you? Yeah I mean I'm with you on that where um, if somebody asked us I would probably say lifestyle apparel um, just because that that gives that image of of kind of what we are because just like you're saying streetwear has that image of you know echo and yeah. you know that that just that baggy clothes and everything and and truly streetwear isn't that you know streetwear is you know it is pocket tees it is you know um you know it's, it's all of that with button-ups and all over prints and everything um but like i said i would categorize ourselves i guess as lifestyle apparel just for that very reason that i feel like street has a has a different vibe to it when you say that uh, now you guys are based out of la what brings you here to phoenix like how do you even like where's the correlation how's that even work <laughs> Well, uh, Sam started working for Magic a little bit ago, and while I was there, I won a membership to FBI, which is Fashion Business Institute, or, yeah, Incorporated, and they help younger brands come like come up and just give them resources. So there, uh, Phoenix Phoenix does a nine-city tour. They go around the country trying to find emerging designers, and I went to the meet and greet there, and we applied and we got in, and um, it's a four-month boot camp leading up to this week, and this is how it's kind of worked out. And uh, how long have you guys been in the game for as far as making, creating, designing clothes? Uh, two years now. So, um, yeah, we, we were in Australia. We decided in Australia we were going to start a clothing line. We moved back to L.A. We got to L.A. We just hit the ground running. Do you, um, is, it, is, it, is it okay to ask you, if someone's to ask you, what, like, what your clothes resemble? I mean, could you give me some... I'm not trying to compare you, but you get what I'm saying. Like, would you would you be more... Were you influenced by Hundreds brand, 10D, uh, you know, Publish... Um, well, we weren't really influenced by another brand per se. We're, we're really we're influenced by the city of Hollywood because it's kind of a, a microcosm of that American dream. You see the every extreme of the hustle, whether it's a homeless guy, college student, you know, a tourist spending their money, and then a guy in a Ferrari around the street. So what does that mean, though? Like, how how do you see that in the, in the actual clothes? Oh, so what we do to so our current collection is called Grind and Shine. It's when struggle meets success, and we try to paint that exact picture. By doing like classic work where it's such clothes I'm wearing right now, or it's a, you know, it's a classic gingham Oxford shirt with a little bit of contrast just to signify that hustle and constant grind. And then when you get towards the end of our collection, we have you know loud all over prints, and they they're not just a simple print we picked up from the shop. They're custom designed, and uh, they tell a story. Um, we're the original form of clothing for the young and ambitious. Um, you know, so we're we're making quality apparel for you know for people that are our ideal. Um, our ideal market is uh, someone who just graduated college and they're trying to figure out their path, they're trying to make their way. You know, we're a generation of entrepreneurs and people out there trying to hustle and make their way. And that's what that's what we're doing and that's what so many other people out there are doing and that's who we're trying to capture and that's who we're, we're trying to relate to. What does the name mean? The name, uh, we came up with it because it was the original form of clothing. And, um, and we're trying to bring an original style to the game. And that's where we had, that's where we came up with it. Oh man, two years in the game, Loincloth, where can people get your clothing? Where can they find you, all your social media? How did they buy it? You can find us on Instagram at uh, Loincloth LA, or I'm sorry, Loincloth underscore LA. That's our Twitter and uh, Instagram handle. Um, or you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Loincloth LA. And uh, our website's loinclothla.com. And um, absolutely, you can check out, we have our store list on there. Um, and uh, we look forward to uh, having you check us out. Can I ask one more question? I'm sorry to cut you guys off. I normally I'd end this interview, but I forgot to ask, and it's really important to me. What do you think, what separates you from all the other lifestyle or streetwear brands out there? Because I feel like there's so many brands out there, I can't even keep up. So, uh, personally, I feel like a brand makes clothes for who someone is or you know who they want to be. Like, think of a, a diamond supply, per se. You know, a lot, nobody that's in the skate world is really not not to badmouth they're a great brand but you know one really lives that lifestyle we actually paint that picture for who you are and who you want to be
everybody struggles. Like even, you know, Jay-Z, he talks about the struggle because you get rich and you want to get richer. And it just gets harder and harder and harder. It's not a bad struggle. And uh, yeah, it's not at all. But uh, we, yeah, that's pretty much it. We capture who you are and who you want to be. And I feel like I haven't seen a brand the brand that does that. Cool. I would, I would also just say on that is that, that um, you know, we're, we're trying to, we, we highlight the struggle. You know, we're, most people aren't highlighting the struggle. You know, there you see all the the flash, or everyone's you know the the clothes about the you know about the the power and the cash and all that. We want to highlight that struggle because that's what's really happening. And that's where it really happens. You always hear about everyone when they when they make it and when they're overnight successes, but you don't see all that work going up to it. And that's what we try and highlight, and that's who we're trying to hit, and that's what we're trying to really show in our clothes and represent. And that's who you know we when we sponsor you know musicians. Or athletes, anything like that. We want people that are coming up and on the grind, and um, that's who we're after. Oh, you heard the story right here. You never know, man. We're live at Phoenix Fashion Week. The guys, good guys, great clothes. One cloth, LA. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Go where hip hop. Julian on the radio.